This is Li, licensed acupuncturist and herbalist, and today we like to talk about insomnia. So either you have hard time to fall asleep, or you have hard time to maintain the sleep. There are some、uh, imbalance of the nervous system or chemicals causing this、uh, insomnia. So in order to achieve the deep sleep, seven eight hours. All the like melatonin, serotonin, cortisol, all the chemicals have to be in balance. If you are taking、uh, SSRI for depression or anxiety, then you can have more deep sleep, according to Winkerman in Harvard Medical School. But you actually change the sleep pattern, so you increase the deep sleep. With higher level of serotonin, but also you increase the muscle activity in rapid eye movement. So you have sleep cycle stage one, two, three, four, and then followed by rapid eye movement. In this rapid eye movement, your muscle are supposed to be paralyzed, so you don't acting up from your dreams. But if you are taking the psychiatric drug such as SSRI, you can actually acting out from your dream. So be careful. I know when you are taking a psychiatric drug, you actually sleep more, but you don't necessarily feel better. So you feel groggy in the morning because you don't have、um, the REM、um, right REM cycle to enhance your、uh, memories.、Um, so when you wake up from deep sleep, you are groggy. You are you have low energy, so you have to watch the dosage. And the other、um, study was done in one of the university hospital of Freiburg in Germany. They、uh, find out when the serotonin level is lowered, you wake up more times,、um, and then you have frequent rapid eye movement. So、uh, when people are stressed out. Or didn't eat the right food, or eat too much anti-acid medication, your serotonin level can go down. You are not only depressed, but also you don't sleep well. So you wake up many times, and you have so many dreams in rapid eye movement. And when you wake up, your brain just exhausted. You are anxious. So too much serotonin causes too much deep sleep, and too little serotonin. Cause too much rapid eye movement sleep. You have to balance that, and、uh, that way, when you go through three or four sleep cycles, so one cycle takes two hours. So stage one, two, three, four, and then you go to REM for fifteen twenty minutes and go back to stage one. Stage one two is a light sleep, and stage three four is the deep sleep. You would think more deep sleep will be better, but actually, if you increase too much deep sleep, and then you bring a lack of blood flow, and you increase the chances develop a、uh, stroke.、Um, I think that's one, probably one of the reason Rose Kennedy developed stroke around 80 years old because she used sleeping pill chronically because of the tragedy in her life. But she knows how important sleep is. And that's why she live up to over 100 years old. But then also life quality is very important. So、uh, to balance the cortisol, serotonin, melatonin, we just have to use natural way.、Uh, acupuncture is a one way, but you have to have sufficient treatment in the initial treatment.、Um, Spencer. Uh, Dr. Spencer, in Journal of Neuropsychiatry and Clinical Neuroscience, did a study for 16 people, and they have acupuncture twice a week for five weeks. So that's、uh, 10 treatment altogether, and they find、uh, majority of people、um, have increased the melatonin level and reduced anxiety and depression, fatigue, and easy to fall asleep. So that's one study showing that acupuncture can be used to、uh, reduce the sleep problems. 
but you really need sufficient dosage. You want to do once a week or every other week, then it's not going to work. So initially, you need sufficient dosage to rebalance the hormones, the nervous system. And the other study by Dr. Omura um, also gave another um, reason why people don't get a good, good sleep, wake up earlier especially. And um, he tested the arm blood pressure and the, the neck blood pressure to the head. And they, he find out for people who have low blood pressure in his head, in the head, they have more uh, waking up time. They don't sleep long enough to go through three or four cycles of the sleep, stage one, two, three, four, and REM. And to correct that problem, you can do some acupuncture pressure point to relax your neck muscle and bring the blood flow to your brain. Especially during deep sleep, if your neck muscle are so tight and you don't have sufficient blood flow, then you can cut dramatically the blood flow to your brain and you could have minor blood clots or stroke and you know the neurons can degenerate much faster. So relax your neck muscle and balance your hormones and nerves, meaning that you have to relax two hours before you go to sleep. And by relaxation with the acupressure point, meditation, yoga, uh, or acupuncture, you can actually lower your cortisol level. According to a study in Pennsylvania State University, uh, when the cortisol level goes up, you wake up more. And when the norepinephrine, the fight or flight hormones goes up, you actually have more stage one or two, the superficial uh, stage of the sleep, than the stage three or four, the deep sleep. So it's not the timing how six or eight hours you sleep. It's the pattern, how much time you're sleeping, deep sleep, REM. It has to be balanced so that you achieve six to eight hours and feel energized and your brain cells can regenerate, go through regeneration and you have better memory in REM, you uh, consolidate your synapses, the connection between neurons when you learn new things during the daytime. So if you tried all the relaxing techniques two hours before you go to sleep, you still cannot achieve satisfied sleep. Then come to acupuncturist, have sufficient dosage of acupuncture, and then you go back to your relaxation technique, and then you can achieve the better sleep with better brain function. If you want more information, you can go to my website, bostonchineseacupuncture.org, and uh, go through all the techniques you can do two hours before you go to sleep. Then you will be able to live up to 100 without stroke or memory loss.